Uh, a lot of our goals tonight uh, going into the game, some of the stuff that we wrote on the board, both offensively and defensively, uh, we did such a great job. Um, Courtney Williams is one of the dynamic scorers in the league, and I felt like we showed great attention to her at the same time, had um, a lot of commitment behind the basketball. So with all that attention, the Courtney still weren't hurt on the offensive glass, uh, did a great job that way. Turnovers. Big part, uh, they've been turning people over. I think they have five or six of the top 20 people in seals in the league. It's a big part of their offense. And we, we only turned it over 11 times tonight. Therefore, um, you know, significantly under their point average off of turnovers, just on and on. A lot of things that we worked all week on um, came together tonight, but more than anything, just loved how hard we played. We competed. Um, with that win, obviously the East representative in the Commissioner's Cup, and we will go to break with the best home record in the league. We tied for the best home record in 2019. So continue to make Mohegan Sun Arena a very difficult place for opponents to come in and win. And that that is really important for us. Awesome, thank you. Um, so just raising hand if you have a question, we'll start with Alexa, go ahead. Hi, Kurt. Um, you mentioned that you guys obviously clinched the East for the Commissioner's Cup Championship game. Um, Dewana said before the game that wasn't a huge focus going into it, but I'm sure, you know, probably was talked about maybe in the locker room. What was kind of the reaction? Was it the victory extra sweet knowing that you guys will be in that game? And I believe each player gets at least, what, $10,000, so that's not a bad payday either. Yeah, for sure. They're really excited about the opportunity uh, to play for a significant bonus. Um, you know, obviously some of the rookies and on the rookie scale contract, that means so much more than uh, maybe a DB, but they, they're ecstatic to be the East representative. And, uh, you know, we're looking forward to that. Um, you know, this is a, a fun first year and to be in the inaugural first year of the Commissioner Cup, um, we can't be more pleased. And then a question about the game. Um, Bree January was a huge reason why Courtney Williams struggled to, uh, on offense and also she hit some clutch shots down that stretch in the fourth. Uh, what did you see from her tonight on both ends? Yeah, that's the person we singled out in the locker room tonight. Uh, just was relentless at the defensive end trying to stay in place with Courtney. Uh, only four made baskets tonight. Uh, we really limited her shot attempts. Um, Bree January just has done that to the outstanding two guards all year. But what was big for her tonight was she made big plays uh, throughout the game, but even more down the stretch, a few great assists, and then a couple timely baskets at the end of shot clock. So overall, uh, one of Bree's best games of the year, and, and we really needed it. Thank you. Uh, Ned, go ahead. Howdy, Kurt. Uh, Alexa just asked my question, so I'm good. Thanks, Ned. Great. Awesome. Uh, Jackie, go ahead. Hey, Kurt. Um, when Atlanta had that good stretch at the end of the game, um, the score was 74 to 70, and you took a timeout with about four minutes left. After that timeout, it looks like Atlanta only scored two points after that. Just wondering if you could share what your message was for the team and how they were able to really lock, out on, lock down on defense and finish the game strong. Yeah, we just tried to get refocused. I thought we had uh, empty possessions and they, it, it was crunch time and they, they turned us over a couple of times. They were winning the 50-50 balls. So we talked about being tough down the stretch. We talked about this all week on, they can speed you up and, and turn you over if you're not strong with the basketball. So it, it, was, it was a toughness. It was an appeal to all the prep over the last 48 hours of what we knew that Atlanta's capable of. They're a really, really talented team. Uh, individually, they've got great offensive players. So um, we just knew we'd shoot a high percentage if we didn't turn it over um, and they turn everybody over. So we just got regrouped, talked about a little bit of toughness and finishing the job. Thank you. Awesome. Uh, Michelle, go ahead. 
Thanks. Um, Coach, you mentioned it's sort of going to be fun uh, to play in the Commissioner's Cup, and, and obviously it's it's a nice paycheck, especially for some folks. But I wonder, as a coach, do you also think it's sort of a, a good simulation for the playoffs? I know your team has plenty of experience in that, but in some ways maybe, you know, having that game and a little extra on the line could be a, a, a good boost for uh, both teams that are going to be in it. You know, I, Michelle, I, I'm excited to be in it. Um, obviously, we're going to play against a really talented team, more than likely Seattle. Seattle, ironically, is the team we only drew twice this year. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, you get the challenge yourself against, you know, who's got the best record in the league right now. So those are always great lessons when you play against Stewie and you play against Bird and Jewel Lloyd. Um, you know, it's always going to be great for us. Do I, do I wish it didn't interfere with some practice before we pick back up that second half with Dallas? You know, I, I, I hope it doesn't affect us in, in the regular season games. But again, it's significant enough money for these guys, a bonus that uh, it, it uh, makes it certainly worthwhile. Thank you. Appreciate Awesome. Any more questions for Kurt? All right. Coach, you're all set. We'll send in Bree Jones next. All right. So we have um, Bree Jones who finished with 16 points tonight. Um, so we'll open it up for questions. Just raise your hand if you have any questions. Um, Michelle, go ahead. Thank you. Um, Bree, I was wondering two things. Um, we just asked Kurt about out the commissioner's cup what i know this is a new thing um maybe people haven't thought about it a lot but now that you know that you're in it um playing for some extra money what does that mean to you and then i have just one other after that um i mean it means a lot i think just like having the competition within the um, within the season i think it definitely makes you want to uh, play harder uh for every game and um I th we definitely talked about it uh going into this game especially knowing that we could clinch for this game uh so we just wanted to come out uh, get this win and just secure our spot uh, in the Commissioner's Cup before we went to go ahead uh, to New York. Great. Um, I know you've probably talked to the Connecticut media a lot about All-Star, but I'm wondering if you're starting to get excited about that being the first time and everything. I mean, obviously, you had, you had a good season last year, too, but it just seems like this is kind of going to be the cherry on top of, a, of kind of what seems like a, a real breakout season for you. How, how excited are you about that coming up? I'm definitely really excited. Uh, you know, you don't make an all-star team every year. So uh, just seeing my growth, I think, from my first year here in Connecticut and, until now, and just seeing all the hard work I put in and it's paying off now, um, I mean, I'm just really excited to, uh, to go out to Vegas and uh, play in the all-star game. And is, is it particularly cool to go against Team USA? Do you think there's going to be a little bit of a feeling like, you know, yeah, we, we're, we're going against Team USA and kind of maybe adds a little bit of an edge even to, to, to the all-star game, if you will? Yeah, no, I think it definitely is going to be a it's going to be a great game. Um, there's both there's good players on both sides, and it, you know, giving just having playing against the USA team is definitely going to have a uh, a little bit more edge to this game. Uh, you know, WBA versus the, the USA team, so I think um, it's going to be a game, good game. I'm excited. Um, and I'm just ready to get out there. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, Jackie, go ahead. Hey, Bree, I'm just curious on, you know, what it was like to have Courtney Williams and Shakina Strickland back in Mohegan for the first time since 2019. Uh, it was great uh, seeing them again. Um, the, the, they had a video before the game, uh, you know, thanking them for playing uh, here in Connecticut. And, you know, they were great uh, playing with them. I played with both of them. Uh, they're great teammates, and um, I'm always excited for their success, too, as well. Uh, so just, you know, uh, looking forward to seeing Courtney at the All-Star Game uh, down there in Vegas um, and, you know, I mean, it was, it was just great seeing them again. Yeah, I was going to follow up. Are you, uh, I was curious if, um, you know, you, JJ, and Courtney have kind of been texting or messaging about uh, meeting up and playing together again. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, I haven't uh, texted Courtney about it uh, yet, but, uh, you know, it's always a good time when you're playing with Courtney, so I'm excited to, to get back on the court with her. Cool. Thank you, Bree. Thanks. Cool. Any more questions for Brianna? All right, Bree, you're all set. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, ready to get paid? <laughs> yeah, we secured the bag tonight, yes. 
uh, if you could uh, talk a little bit about the challenge of defending Courtney. Uh, I mean, she's, she's dynamic and maybe one of the best mid range players, you know, in the league. I mean, she's, she's deadly. And I mean, she got hot and went on a streak for, you know, in uh, for a little bit. And then I give credit to my team um, with her just, I mean, she was four for 10, I think, but I just give credit for my team for coming up. We were sending bodies at her. We were being big. Um, she got loose with those four, but other than that, I mean, we, it, it was a team effort. You got to guard her with the team because she's just that, that dynamic and she can really put her team on the back and score in stretches. Thank you. Alexa, go ahead. Hey, Bree. Um, so I wanted to ask you about the Commissioner's Cup. Um, having been around the league a while, do you think it's cool that they're trying out this in-season competition? Is it? I know it's not something probably at the forefront of your guys' minds a ton, but you guys will get at least an extra ten grand, I think. So yeah. can't hurt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I yeah, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's cool. You know, I mean, playing in the league a long time, it's, it's, you're, you're adding an extra game, which isn't that inconvenient, you know, when you're playing for, you know, some bonus money. So that's nice, but I, I hope it does what it's intended to do, which is to bring some buzz to the league, bring some excitement, have fans tune in and just see the high level basketball that we can play. So yeah, I'm really, I'm, I'm excited and hopefully we come away with a uh, 30K. <laughs> And uh, I know Seattle hasn't officially clinched yet, but it looks like they are likely to. If you do get that matchup again, especially how the first two games in the series and the regular season went, um, is that extra motivation to try and beat a really good team? Oh, I mean, always. I mean, regardless of who makes it in there, every time we step on the court, we're, we're trying to win. And, you know, Seattle's taken it to us a couple times here, and we had a close one at home at their place. But... Yeah, I mean, whoever we end up matched up against, we're gonna we're gonna go out there and try to get a win against them. So yeah, we're excited. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Any more questions for Brian? All right, cool. Um, next and last will be Dumana. All right. Um, last but not least, we have Dumana here. Um, so just raise your hand if you have any questions. No call on you. Uh, Jacqueline, go ahead. Hey, Dewana. Um, you know, just could you talk a little bit about what it's like and uh, now that you've clinched the Commissioner's Cup that you guys also have, um, you know, some sort of bonus coming your way? Yeah, it's exciting. <laughs> we are really excited about the, the, the goal for us this season. So, you know, one down, one goal down, and uh, we just got to continue to build on it. But, of course, we celebrated tonight, so we'll do that a little bit and uh, enjoy this win because uh, it's just huge. It's huge for Connecticut, just where this program has come from. Now we're in the Commissioner's Cup game, and sitting there, I think, third place, it just says a lot about this team. So we're really excited about it. Uh, Michelle, go ahead. Oh, can't hear anything. Uh, Alexa, go ahead. Hey, Dewana. Um, Kurt said he singled out uh, Bree January for her, her performance tonight on both ends of the floor. I know she does stuff like this every night, but just whatever she's able to do on the defensive end, shutting down a player like Courtney, and then also like hitting key buckets down the stretch like she did tonight. How much can she bring to the team? Obviously, their defense, but also with her playmaking on offense, too. Oh man, she was huge tonight. Uh, she she basically guards the best player every single night. Her and Jasmine Thomas. So um, just credit to her tonight. She you know made the right read. She just made things open up for everybody else. And uh, Bree's always been that type of player. Um, when her numbers call, when her names call, when we need her, she step up. She's a vet. She's she's one of you know up there with me in in uh, the same year. So she knows how to you know she know how to win games. She know how to play. But credit to her tonight, man. It's hard to guard somebody, <laughs> especially when they coming back. Uh, for the first time to somewhere, that, you know, where they usually all hyped up. So uh, he put a, a challenge on her and she did it well. So kudos to her, but she do it every night. <laughs> Thank you. All right, Michelle, go ahead. Yeah, Dewan, I was just going to ask you about the All-Star game. Um, I know you've done this before, um, but okay. I asked um, Bria 
earlier, I know this is her first one, but is there a little extra edge when it's against uh, Team USA? Um, and maybe specifically, is that a little bit for you or, or do you think of it that way? Um, yeah, I guess you could say it's a little bit of an edge. Of course, you want to go out there and perform. I help them get better a little bit because they it's practice for them. And, they, you know, of course, we're cheering and rooting them on. But definitely uh, want to go out and, you know, play well. But I'm also there to have fun. It's, it's a reward for, you know, all your hard work. So I'm excited that Breezy gets to experience it for her first time. So that's going to be my main focus, making sure she enjoy All-Star because she deserves it. <laughs> How, how in, you, you mentioned, um, you know, I know the All-Star Games sometimes going to have different feels to them, but do you think, especially with them getting ready for the Olympics, that this is going to maybe have a little bit more of a real game feel to it or, or not? Um, I, think, I think that time will tell, uh, you know, when people, you, you, these are people that you don't play with. These are not your normal teammates, so you can't, you know, really judge and see who's going to be ready or how the team is going to play. So I think when we get there and get around each other and, you know, for the first time in the locker room and see what the energy is like, and then uh, you decide kind of, you know, because with the All-Star Games, just go out there to have fun. But uh, this one is different. So I think when we get there in the locker room and uh, the coaches and everybody and see how uh, things have been talked about and how things feel, and then that, that's how we're going to go out there and play. And lastly, I think your little girls, their, their birthday's this month, isn't it? Uh, yes, their birthday's on the 27th, so please give them a shout out. <laughs> uh, well, I was just curious, does the uh, the Commissioner's Cup, maybe do they get a, a maybe a, an extra big birthday present? Oh, my they get, they, they're already asking. They want everything they see in Target. So uh, <laughs> any LOL or Spider-Man thing they see, they want it. So they'll have a great birthday. This is the first one that I get to celebrate, actually, because I'm either an all-star or, you know, somewhere – WNBA. So uh, this is my first one. This is the fourth birthday and I'm excited to like throw them a party. So thank you. Appreciate yeah. it. Thank you. Alexa, go ahead. Sorry, I forgot to lower my hand. You're good. Does anyone else have any questions for Duana? All right. Awesome. Thank you all. Have thank a great you. night.